Viewpoints Item Number SCP-1685 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Mobile Task Force Pi-4 aka Stellar Constellation Prize are to locate uncontained instances of SCP-1685 and seal off public access. The interior areas of SCP-1685 instances are to be fitted with a suite of telescopes and other observational equipment. This serves a dual purpose of locating the interior areas of SCP-1685 instances and advancing Project Heimdall-related observational projects. Personnel entering SCP-1685 instances are required to wear full-pressure suits as a safeguard against vacuum exposure. As the mechanism SCP-1685 utilizes is not fully understood, airlocks are to be constructed around each SCP-1685 instance as an additional safeguard to prevent catastrophic loss of atmosphere in the case of SCP-1685 interiors becoming gas permeable. Description SCP-1685 are a number of doors that lead to 100 meter cubed volumes in outer space. The volumes freely mix atmosphere with the Earth and are enclosed by an unknown transparent material. Non-destructive testing has revealed little about the material, and destructive testing is currently not authorized. The interior areas of SCP-1685 are roughly cubic, with an apparent source of gravity that is consistent with the door used to access it. Observations have shown the interior areas of SCP-1685 are in seemingly random locations, with no pattern discovered so far. The first instance of SCP-1685 was discovered in the home of Japanese researcher Sumio Ijima. Since then, instances of SCP-1685 have been found in numerous locations on all seven continents. However, SCP-1685 instances occur at a higher density in urban environments and other areas with a prevalent light pollution beyond what would be expected with the larger number of doors in these areas. Addendum 1612-1 The following handwritten note has been found on all SCP-1685 instances. The presence of these notes is currently the only advance warning that an SCP-1685 instance is present. Look at the stars every once in a while. They're quite beautiful. Pangloss.